Hello everyone, we are back with the final round of Fort Wayne Regionals. Alrighty guys, and as you see, we have a Volcania deck, and on the left we have a Fairy deck. But this Fairy deck is going to be very unique. Yep, the, that's not the Rainbow Force Cernius, it's actually the Geomancy Cernius, as we see by the League um, logo right there. And we're going to see the old school Mega Cardivore, which deals damage based on the fairy energy that are in play. That's right, so it does 30 times of minus fairy energies in play, and this could be manipulated maybe, we don't know what he's playing, like Mega Turbos, Max Luxers, Geomancy, there's a lot of different resources now to get these energies out. Yeah, and even EXP sure can actually um, keep that energy in play as well, and since there's no Megaphone or no Zerosic anymore, um, EXP sure becomes super valuable to make sure your energy stays in play. This is very true, this is the deck that I don't think anybody thought of. You thought fairies like, oh, Mega Gardevoir, Despair Ray, or you're thinking of Rainbow Road, but not, uh, what's the deck even called? Uh, Brilliant Arrow? Yeah, Brilliant I Arrow, believe. yep, that's what Brilliant it is. Brilliant Arrow. Yeah. But we're gonna see a Sycamore, and he does play Max Luxor, so yeah, he's gonna use that Max Luxor. Gonna get the energy to play. Yep. So. Um, now, we did feature a previous, uh, in the previous round a Psyker deck, and now we get to see the Mega Gardevoir that literally nobody was talking about. <laughs> Everybody was hyping up or was hyped on, on the dual typing Mega Gardevoir, but I don't think anyone considered or would have like bet money on this Brilliant Arrow Gardevoir being here. But they both have a 9 2 2 record, they are both. Potentially a tie might put them in, but whoever wins this match will f for sure make top eight. Yeah, we're not sure if 30 or 30 won's the bubble. I don't know exactly. I don't look at mm -hmm. pairing, so I mean, I imagine if it was if it was a guaranteed tie, they would have idea ready. But we're gonna see Quinn it does play that turn one hex maniac, gonna shut down all those steam ups, which is very bad for a man who was playing this Volcania deck. Yeah. And um, we do see a very unique card as well by Ahmed. He's actually playing the Entei, which has combat plays and deals more damage based on your opponent's bench Pokemon. So that could be a good um, a good card as Quinn will most likely always have his bench filled. And I don't know, I feel like Entei um, was used at the beginning of Volcanion, but then people simply dropped it out of their lists. But Ahmed is here, um, close to making top 8 out of 600 players, and using that Entei. Yeah, and I, I know in Orlando, he played a similar deck and did make top 32 as well. So he's very familiar with this deck, and we see he does opt to play Skyfield in his Volcanion deck. Now, um, it'll be interesting, since Quinn is not using the Despair Ray Mega Gardevoir, I wonder if he's simply going with a Fairy Garden version of the deck. Yeah, I know when I walked by earlier, he was playing... I did see Fairy Gardens on this field, so I imagine that's what he's playing, to get yeah. that free retreat with those Fairy Degrees, so that's very nice. But we see a Flowstone, we see a Tree, we're gonna see a uh, Power Heater, but he does not have any fires in the Disco Pro, unfortunately. Yep, and Ahmed did, um, does have a Hoopa, does have a Shame in his hand, so that Hex Maniac did delay him a little bit the previous turn, but he can definitely have a, a really good turn two going into this game. Yeah, and they would see the Fairy Garden immediately coming down saying, hey, these these Pokemon Fairy Energies, they got the Fairy Tree. And it's going to be interesting to see how many energies can Quinn get, and when will he decide to transition into the Brilliant Aerial? That's also a nice question. So, yeah. yeah. I don't think we will be seeing the other Mega Gardevoir anytime soon. Um, I would assume Quinn has it in order to have an easier Mega Mewtwo matchup. But we should see a ton of Brilliant Arrow here. Yeah. We're going to see a Via Seeker for another Hex and then a Geomancy. So he's fine. Quinn is fine with just Hexing, not playing anything. Just get a bunch of energies to play and start using Brilliant Arrow. Yeah, he's really delaying um, Ahmed's damage potential because without Steam Up, um, Volcanion only does 20 damage, which That's is fine. definitely nowhere near enough to deal with the 130 HP Cernias that he's facing. And every turn, Quinn is able to Geomancy, um, he gets closer into one hit KOing absolutely everything Ahmed has. Yeah, and the downside of like this Hex Maniac 2 is it's hard for him to put these fire energies in the discard pile. So, yeah. we did see him Sycamore one away. Looks like he's going to attach him in turn, so he's going to have a Volcanium ready to go. Does uh, Gardevoir have 170 or 180 HP? Gardevoir EX has 170 HP. Okay, and okay. the Brilliant Arrow Mega Gardevoir I believe has 220 Yeah, 220, HP. yeah. 
So it's gonna be... It's possible to hit those numbers with Volcano in the X, but it's not gonna be easy. Yeah. I mean, what, three steam ups and you can take a take a knockout. Yep. But then you have to worry about a retaliation, but that Volcano does have a fighty fear belt, so it is it has a ton of HP right now. Indeed. Um, but um imagine a scenario where sure he actually ooh. gets a one kill and yeah, we see a Cernia yeah, break Cernia's right there. Right, yeah. So does twenty times amount of fear did you use in play for sure? So Okay, so we'll probably see another Geomancy right now. Um he does Sycamore, so Ahmed will be able to have abilities right now, mm -hmm. which is really good. And that should allow him to stabilize a little bit more and be able to deal with that Xerneas break potentially. Now the Xerneas break is a twenty is it it's twenty times amount of injuries, right? Yeah. So can he get a knock on this Volcanian or not? 20, 40, 60, 80. No, not right now. He needs a little bit more injuries to start taking knockouts on this guy. Do you think Quinn maybe plays double colorless energy in order to increase Cernius Break's damage output? Or is it pure fairy energy? <laughs> is it not just for amount of it fairies? Is it it's for the amount of energy. Oh, wow. I mean, I don't think so. Let's see. 20 yeah. times, 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to all of your Pokemon. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't think he plays. Now, DCs could be good because Mega Gardevoir just needs a Fairy and a DC to attack, I think. I'm pretty sure. Because I remember people play, like, EXP shares, and they would attack that way with it, so. Okay. Now, there's the energy for turn, and after this Geomancy, we are going to see... Six energy, so 180 right now with that with that Gardevoir. So yeah, yeah, actually seven energy, so oh, seven. 210 damage. All right, we'll see. Ahmed gonna play a uh, escape rope, and let's see who does Quinn decide to bring up. I feel like if you have a okay, so immediately a Cernius. I was gonna say maybe you'd consider um, Hoopa if you had a fairy energy in order to retreat uh -huh. next turn, but I think you don't want to risk. Your EX get knocked out. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so that's I think that's why he just. I mean, Zarnia's not bad, so. That's true, but also, um, with the Fighting Fury build, Volcanion has 220 damage. So you 100% need 8 energy in play in order to 1 KO it. Yeah. So maybe sacrificing the Hoopa is okay, because as long as you attach an energy from your hand, that's the 8th energy, and you will get a, a knockout. Okay, so we'll see a max looks here. I'm gonna put a fighter in that Volcanion. Now, if, if a med can hit an energy and one steam up, he could take a knock on the Xerneas. Yep. So. And taking a knockout without sacri or without um, risking the EX would be really good for Admin. And here. he gets a, a fighting for. I don't know how much that actually matters though. Um. Because I think if Gardevoir comes up, it's going to smack you for a knockout. Yeah, and the 10 extra damage will not be the differential in order to get the KO. But he does find enough energy in order to get that Yeah, he KO. does have it, yeah. So we're going to see a knockout. And it's going to be to Quinn. Is he going to transition to Gardevoir? Mega Gardevoir? He hasn't even played a Link yet either. No Mega Gardevoir Links have came down either. Yeah. That could be a bad thing, so. And another thing um, that might be difficult for Ahmed, wow, and Quinn actually having to read um, Volcanian EX. But Ahmed doesn't, like, he hasn't been able to find another Volcanian, and yeah. he potentially needs two of them, plus three energy in order to KO Mega Gardevoir back. That's true. So we'll see Quinn promote the Guardian. It might be time to start attacking. But if Ahmed can find two Volcanians and three energies, uh, that's a lot of energies off the, off the field. So yeah, losing three energy, no experience here. Um, that could really hurt Quinn yeah. at this point in time. Um, he will use an Ultra Ball, discarding another Ultra Ball and something else. Um, he has, he's checking how many cards Ahmed has before he makes a decision. Mm -hmm. um, maybe he'll commit to a Shaman. No, oh, there's the there it is. There, despair, very guardy. No, the brilliant. Oh, the brilliant, the brilliant. Sorry, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I, I knew what I meant. Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh. But no spirit link. Yeah, no spirit link though. Oh nope, nope, nope. There it is. There yeah. it is. I was gonna say, why would you promote it without having the link? <laughs> oh, but I think is that another hex in his hand? One, two, three. Yeah, he has six energy in play, so. Ooh, and he has a hex. Wow. Wow. So two hex. 
So just enough energy to KO, but since he didn't attach an energy this turn, even if Ahmed doesn't um, or can't KO the Mega Gardevoir, Quinn can't KO Volcanion okay, yeah. X unless he finds either a Mega Turbo or a, More max or a Max Elixir. Yeah. So that's why I was generally thinking that maybe sacrificing that energy on the Cernias was not the greatest idea. Yeah. But now, if, if you're mid, do you, would you go for a power heater? Or do you, like you said, do you risk it send the Volcano EX and then like, oh, let's see. Or do you try to get, because he has Trainer's Mill, if he has an Ultra Ball, he can potentially get, oh, there's an Ultra Ball, so he yeah. could look well, for VS Seeker, okay. I mean, Admin really needs more Volcano EXs. That's what he really needs. Yes. And maybe he can afford to simply power heater this turn to have more Volcano EXs powered up. We do see one extra Volcano EX in his hand. But it's wow, he's actually going to attach to Entei. So we'll see a chain to Volcano. I guess with the oh Sand said, hey, I can smack you for 140, and the next turn, Combat blows you for a knockout? Yeah. So um, maybe Ahmed has um, more than one Volcano in the X Prize. Prized, yeah. Or at least one, and that's why he's not been able to find any so far. So yeah. I'm gonna have 140 own that Mega Guardian. And can Quinn find enough energy to knock out this Volcano or not? There's a Spear Link coming down. And does he have anything? I think he only has like two cards in his hand. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, but he hasn't in. Has right, so the hand, okay. both players are going to shove up. Both can get five because both haven't taken non knockouts. Yeah. So Quinn really needs to find a Mega Turbo or two and an energy. Maybe a Mega Gardevoir so that the active uh, Mega Gardevoir doesn't get KO'd with, two, with four energy. That would be devastating to his energy count. What if Quinn plays a Rattata? <laughs> <laughs> That would actually be pretty... Like, I'd be really surprised by that. Yeah. But we'll see what happens. Does Quinn have it or not? I imagine if he have it, he might, like, immediately just start playing down, go, go, go. But now if you're Quinn, do you retreat and go for maybe... Uh, is it a, what is Ernie's first attack's name? <laughs> I forget. I know what it does. I just... Hmm. Wow, that's just a straight link to the Hoopa. So... Mm. Oh, he, he wants to shed a setup here. He wants to draw this energy. He take it wants now. to, yeah. Wants a mega turbo potentially. And Let's see, does he attack or does he retreat? Geomancy, just go for it. Life stream, that's what it's <laughs> Life called. Life stream, yeah. Ah, oh, man. Takes me a second, but I don't remember. Right now he's dealing 210 damage. He's 10 damage short. Yep, I think that's what he's realizing here too. Yep. But like, uh, if you mega turbo and then Ahmed retaliates with Entei, then you lose 4 total energy. Which is Woo. terrible. Yeah, that's, that'd be a difficult situation for sure. But we'll see what Quinn decides to do. It looks like he will retreat into the, most likely the Xerneas, right? Yeah. Yep. There we go. Now, so. do you do you live stream or do you? Hey, it looks like he's gonna live stream. All right. So we'll see a live stream coming on down for 140 damage. Yeah. Still a very good amount of damage. Um, obviously not enough. And Volcano EX's Volcanic Heat prevents Ahmed from attacking this upcoming turn. So he will need to find an escape rope, a switch, a ranger maybe, an Olympia. We're not sure if Ahmed plays those cards or how many play he plays of each card. Yeah. But um, I don't know. Things look pretty even at this point. Yeah, it's going to come down to can Ahmed find another Volcano. We still don't know how many he's prized. We're assuming he's prized multiples because he really hasn't done too much. Yeah, so if you're Ahmed here, you really don't want to retreat your Volcanion EX though. Yeah, you really don't want to lose all those energy. So he's gonna go for Shaman. I think I saw an N in his hand. So you really want to find that escape rope, that switch, um, and he's gonna go for it. He's gonna Shaman for a few cards, and then he might have to N to find that that out he needs in order to deal some damage, potentially power up Entei and maybe another Volcanion EX if he does find one. Now what he could do is use Combat Blaze and knock out the active that way. Yeah, that's yeah. true. If he wants to go that way. I, I don't know what he, what he wants to do here. Was he steam up or is he fire detachment? Okay. Alright. Shaman set up. Shaman. So let's see, there's a sky field the, so he does have another Volcanion X, okay. He's already moving his discard file. He's like, all right, I'm about to Skyfield here. I'm getting ready. <laughs> yeah. 
So Vakinian coming down. I mean, maybe you're looking for an escape rope. There's a trainer's mill. There's a okay, no escape rope. We no know he's played one rope. already. Hmm. Does he already have a limp in the discard pile though? Let's see. I uh, think I saw one. I don't know. I don't see I'm, one. I think I saw Ranger at least okay. towards the end. Yeah. Let's see if we can catch it there. Yeah, oh, okay, Olympia. Olympia. So he's gonna be yeah. a secret for Olympia. Take a knockout with Inte, which is very nice. Yeah. Okay. Definitely a good situation for. So this is like Prime, not yeah. like this not EX is war thing going on right now. Yeah. It's very interesting. <laughs> um, once again, like when did you expect to see Ente against Cernius break? <laughs> I did not expect like, this at all. You would have expected to a see a Dragon Knight. What is going? Okay, wow. all right. Wow. So this has to get some Volcanians back, I imagine. He can get Hoopa, get Shaman, can set up, and that's why he moved his discard pile. He's like, yeah, I gotta move my discard pile. I'm about to, I'm about to Hoopa here. <laughs> so Hoopa, this is what grabbed all of his Volcanians that he needs. And There's none one. were priced actually. So Ahmed was just having bad luck there in not finding a second Volcanian EX earlier. Yeah. So we're gonna see eight Pokemon come down for Ahmed. Wow. <laughs> wow. And this is bad for Quinn because Quinn. You know he does. He wants to play Fairy Garden, but at the same time, he doesn't want to play Fairy Garden because if he does, a man could discard his Shaman, yep. his Hoopa. Get rid of the yeah. easy targets. If yeah, you the will. easy targets. So it's gonna be interesting for sure how, how this is gonna play out. Now, this, losing two energy for Quinn is going to be absolutely devastating. Yeah, so we're gonna absolutely see. Absolutely devastating. Via Sigur for the Olympia, and uh, we're gonna see a knockout here, Comet Blaze. Man, if on Comet Blaze was your side of the field, <laughs> <laughs> it'd be a, it'd be every fire it'd be deck. One of the best attacks ever. <laughs> it'd be an every Volcanian deck. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna see Comet Blaze here, and it's gonna be up to Quinn to see what's he gonna do, because if Quinn doesn't knock this out. Wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> I was saying that. Like, why is he <laughs> placing like, yeah, damage yeah. there? Okay. But the interesting about this Inte, if you don't deal with it. A med can just triple steam it, quadruple steam up, yeah. take knockouts on the EX. So this Entei is actually a really big threat. Yeah, between Entei and Volcanian EX, yeah. Ahmed is really well poised to take a KO on the damaged Mega Gardevoir or on the other Gardevoir. So and here we see the Fairy Garden come down, which is fine. He's going to discard. Ooh, is that? Okay, yeah, I like yeah. Yep. Four, the four Volcanians and one Volcanian. Yeah, I like this a lot. Yeah, that's pretty much ideal setup for, for Ahmed. Yeah, so we see a Via Seeker. Will he go for a Hex? He could go for a Hex. But we're going to see a Lysander to bring up the Volcan Volcanian X. Take a knockout. But that combat blaze. He could retaliate a knockout still. Yeah. Uh. And Gardevoir has 140 damage on it. So he could even, um, if he has enough energy, he could power heater. Um, <laughs> yeah. For the knockout and actually get some energy into play. Yeah, we're gonna see. Uh, he's got flow stone the way, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, um, he needs to start attaching though for sure. There's a retrieval. He can get two. Yes, he has, he has another energy. Oh, so he could. Hand. Oh, he can go for the quad. Yeah, the triple yeah. The power up, attach and save his Inte and save his Volcanians. Oh yep. my goodness. He will start having another threat. He will remove another three energy off of Quinn or from, yeah, from play, and. Like, at this point in time, even though Quinn is ahead in prices, Ahmed will recover from that, and he will, like, Mega Gardevoir with Brilliant Arrow will not be dealing enough damage to deal with this, <laughs> with this deck at the moment. Oh, this is crazy. I mean, Quinn could find the Despair Ray Mega Gardevoir now and take a KO on, on Volcanion. That is a possibility. Mm -hmm. But um, it's not looking good for Quinn. Not yeah. with so many energy now gone. And then also, if if he does go for the despair play, Ahmed could try to like max loose your energy and finish the game from there. Yeah. Um, Ahmed also plays an end, so Quinn is down to three cards, two energy in play, and a single Gardevoir. Yeah. He's in a lot of trouble. Yeah. So we we'll see a two lot, lot two energies get on those Volcanians, and uh, we have to Quinn to see what can he do here. Can he figure out how to take down the rest of this? There's the Mega Guardi, but. It's only doing 60 damage. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it'll deal 90 if he finds another energy. He plays a Spinda. <laughs> he is ready for Gyarados. He's ready for Gyarados, <laughs> yep. <laughs> he does find the energy. So, okay. sure, he will deal 90, 90 damage yeah. right now. But um, 
baby Volcanion will get another power heated off, and then there will be two Volcanion EXs, which are a big threat. Yeah. And I, once again, a Lysander plus enough energy could actually KO a Shaman, so Ahmed in a really good position here. If if a man triple steam ups here, oh, is that, oh, he's going to parallel, ooh, a man down to three, ooh. Okay, so. I, oh, and a Mega Turbo, okay, all right, so still not enough for knockout, though. Yep, still missing 10 damage now. Now, Ahmed does have a Fishman in his hand. I don't know if you saw that or not. No, I did not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw a Fishman in his hand. So he can get back four energies, double steam up, attach, be good to go. Like, oh, man. Yeah. All right. And Quinn doesn't have another Guardi, so there's no way he can get another. Yeah, see that Fishman right there? Wow, yeah. he has so yeah. many energy and the Fisherman. That's mm. really good. Lysander the Shaman. Oh, he's doing Lysander Shaman. Oh, Float, the Retreat. Float stone. And, and yeah, he yeah. will use double steam up, and then with Entei, that's enough to wow. take so game Entei, one. Entei, oh my goodness, I didn't, I didn't think Entei was still a thing, but uh, it ends up being the MVP <laughs> of game one. <laughs> Did it take all six? Uh, it took four. I know that for sure. It took four. I want to say it took all six. No, no, no. no. I think I think uh, he knocked out a Xerneas break with one, a Guard of War with one. And maybe Volcania took the other Yeah, Zernius. the baby Volcanian yeah. with three energy took one yes. against Zernius. Yeah, so we actually didn't see Volcania X take a knockout at all. <laughs> it was just but it softened yeah, up. Yeah, it softened up. Yeah, it did soften up one. But still, card. wow. I didn't. I, mean, I still don't know how this is going to play out. Like, Quinn even has Hex Maniac and stuff, and that still was not enough. Yeah, take, Quinn, he, Quinn started out very comfortably. Denying yeah. Ahmed's like explosive start, getting quite a few energy into play, but then Ahmed, once he got going, he overwhelmed Quinn's um, deck. And every time you KO something of Quinn, his deck not only loses the active Pokemon, but it loses a potential 90 damage. Yeah. I guess the question is, does Quinn play Rattata? That could actually be a big game changer. It could. Yeah. Um, that plus 40 is. Stones, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, more for the for the fighting fear belts. That's yeah. Oh man, but we'll see. He does play Spinda, so anything's possible. <laughs> Anything is possible, yeah. <laughs> and if he has a one of or two of the oh. despair remake card board, you would definitely consider running one right at Yeah. Think. So, but we don't even know he plays despair. We didn't see one. We didn't see one last game at all. No, we yeah. did not. Like not even in any searches or Discord pile or anything. No. So but, we, we we don't know. Yeah. I don't know. You'd expect him to have one, right? I mean, and there's so much Mewtwo, <laughs> or like Mewtwo is a thing. Even though I don't think any Mewtwo made top 32. No, I don't think any did. Unfortunately, I played against two yesterday. Oh, he did. Yeah, I'm, I can tell you, Volcania does not beat Mega Mewtwo Garb. <laughs> <laughs> That's a rough matchup there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but uh, we see a man. He has plenty of Pokemon. I think he has two Volcania X's and an Entei start. I mean, if Quinn just draws passes. Ahmed could maybe somehow win the... For, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. He has a Sycamore. Quinn has a Sycamore. Okay, he has a Sycamore. Oh, he and does have a Shaman. Shaman. Oh, no. And Shaman's bad. Like, because three steam-ups and a power heater is a knockout. Yeah. And, and he has to commit a fairy turn one. Oh, and he top decks a Xerneas. Mm -hmm. and, and a Hex. Hex. Okay, so okay. that's... Okay. But, I mean, Ahmed knows that he didn't play anything, right? Yeah. So there's a fire. Did you go attach the Volcanian? No. Yeah, I was going to say, like, Ahmed immediately attaches the energy off of the Max Elixir, and some players do that, and they just don't bother looking at the rest of the cards. But yeah. You should always look at all the top cards you can off of the Max Elixir, because not only do you get the energy, but you also get information on your deck. That's if right. you see a one-off you're playing or something like that, then you find out it's not priced, which is could come into play in the late game. But then you also said too, um, into my earlier time, sometimes if you got to play real fast, <laughs> yeah. But we know, man, he doesn't have to play fast. He's in the driver's seat. He took game one. So. Yeah. And, I mean, game one took a decent amount of time, but both players are playing at a pretty good pace. Mm -hmm. So... We'll see a power hit over 20. Look, Quinn's turn. Yep. Now, is that a Karen? It, it is, is Karen. Karen. Ooh. It is Karen. And wow. Well, I don't, I, we actually don't see... I do not see a... Uh, He's just going to Sky Return. Yep. Ahmed could win right now. Mm, if he hits a Max Elixir, maybe. Ooh. Uh, because he played uh, the X-Maniac once again. Yeah. 
Yeah, so he can't Hoopa, yeah. But I mean, he would have to max Luxor Energy and he just a Power Heater, maybe? Yeah, yeah Power he Heater, just Energy. Power Heater. And yeah, wow. So this is not going great. Yeah, for, for man. neither player. Yeah, for neither. <laughs> uh, I mean, he can Shaman, but he can't. Can he draw any cards? I think he can. At least one, or only one, rather. He has an energy attached return. Looks like they're asking a question about some kind of card. Just making I think sure. Ranger, maybe? Yeah, there's a Ranger. So I'm guessing he's asking if he can play the Ranger for zero or like for no effect. But you can't. You can't, yeah. yeah. If there's no effect to remove, then you can't just. You can't play card, the nothing. Play. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. On PTCGO, you actually can. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, I'm like glad. you can just play uh, Ranger and with no effects in play. Yeah. I know there used to be that the glitch of Volcania as well. We used to just constantly uh, attack with Volcania X over and over again. But they are, they did fix that, so. Okay. Yeah. Well, was, there's a ranger, so maybe I'm I mistaken. No, 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 they no. can't. Okay, no, the judge no. did not allow that. Yeah, they, yeah, that is not allowed, yeah. There we go. So we'll see what happens. Uh, he has to shame him for one, right? I mean, you well, can't can not shame him. There he can attach return, can he? Or he already he attached. attached. Okay, so shame it for one. And he top decked. A Versus Seeker, I think. Or a Max Elixir. No, a Versus Seeker, yeah. For another Hex, oh my Triple goodness. Triple Hex. Yikes. <sighs> I mean, it's not like Ackerman has too much going for him right now. Mm -hmm. But this is really bad. Yeah. Really, really bad for both players, actually. But yeah, we're going to see a Jam Ancy. Just get the energy out, which is not a bad play, and there's nothing still for him, man. Oh my goodness, just another 40 damage, and if Gwen can top deck out of this... He still can't do anything, really. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> both players are kind of like, they're not draw passing, but essentially they kind of are. We see a trainer's mail, though. All right, let's so. see. Does he find anything or not? So four. There's an Ultra Ball. I see a yeah. Max Luxor. All right. He will so. get build trouble, so we will see a little bit more. Yeah, we'll see a Hoopa use the Scoundering, and he will get set up. So Quinn is the first one to draw out of this. But, I mean, Quinn's not going to be able to take a knockout this turn. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um he's gonna go for the for the setup game. Yeah. Like, um he's gonna GMNC, he's gonna start piling up those energy, but only um I don't know, the energy on the Shaman seems a bit wasted right there. Um we do know he has a max elixir and a ma uh, mega turbo in his hand, but still no supporters. So yeah. if that shaman doesn't find him something good quickly, he might struggle he might keep struggling a little bit. Yeah, but at least he'll be able to thin his deck, uh, his hand a lot to be able to shame for more cards. That's always good. So we can see six cards, and does he find the energy off this Max Luxor or not? And no, he will not find the energy off this Max Luxor for the Gardevoir. All right. So, wow. All right. So we're going to see Shaman here. And if you're Quinn and you hit it in, do you just hold on to it? I think you do. Yeah, I think you do too. I mean, off of three cards that Ahmed, that Ahmed has in his hand, I think, like, you don't really expect him to be holding back only because of the Hex. Okay, he has four. Oh, no. Three. Okay, we're good, good. I thought he had six Pokemon for a second. I was like, hold on a second, kids. No, no. <laughs> 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 All right, but we're going to see Zanny's break come out. He could... No, I don't think he's live stream here. I think you definitely just keep on. Just keep on. Use GMAT. And we see a VS Seeker for another Hex. Wow. But that is two VS Seekers and two Hex Maniacs gone. And that's going to be bad late game. Like, he's going to have a lot of VS Seekers used. Can't reuse those Hex. And yeah. Can't reuse those Hex. Can't reuse the, the Lysander. Oh, and he top decks like it in. There we go. Cool. All right. So he finally draws out of it. Going to play the end and going to start the party. All right. So we're okay. good to go. So now Ahmed just needs like a, a solid turn of abilities and he should be good to go. Well, he can't use abilities right yeah. now. He, yeah, yeah, he won't get it this turn, but um, eventually. moving forward, yeah, yeah, eventually Quinn will run out of Verse Seekers or um, Hex Maniacs. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're a med, you definitely want to find like an Ultra Ball, some Fairy Energies, start discarding stuff, so you at least use Power Heaters to power more Pokemon. So, we'll see, does he find an Ultra Ball and some Fairy Energies? That's a big thing. All right, so uh, there's a fire, but I don't see an Ultra Ball. Oh, I do see an Ultra Ball. All right. Yeah. So if you Ultra Ball, ooh, no, you just want to attach. Okay, all right. And I guess we're just going to steam up for uh, 20. No, power here for 20. Yep. All right. So on the Quinn's turn, he's got the link. Now, does he have a Mega Guardian or not? 
Um, we see no stadium yet, so... No, you can't even treat, yeah. Yeah. There's a trainer's mail. Will he find that stadium? And he also needs a mega Gardevoir. So... Wow. Could we see another <laughs> Hex Maniac right here? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the third. That'd be the third via sticker. And, like, at that point, you're yeah. like, all right. I, I need your Volcanion. They use the three VS stickers <laughs> and two Hex. You're like, all right, I'm in a dominated position. Even though I'm not set up, Yeah. I'm still like in a very good position to win this game kind of thing. Yeah. Um, Eventually, I meant will have that really solid turn Yeah. where he will get a ton of steam ups, he will get energy, he will start getting energy into play, and he has the Entei threat, which we saw was very valuable. In yeah, game one, yeah. It, it took, what, five prize cards? Game yeah. one? Yeah. <laughs> I so. think so. Woo. All right, so let's see. What does Quinn decide to do here? He's going to Ultra Ball. He still has that VS Seeker, but I mean, the only supporter card mm -hmm. is Hex. Yeah. I think he has Ranger too, but <laughs> can't use Ranger. Um, does get rid of the Parallel CD, which is interesting. Um, he could limit the damage output by Ahmed even more with yeah. it. Um, or maybe he has a supporter card in his hand. And he want like I don't I don't see his full hand so maybe he has a sycamore and he's trying to dig for fairy garden yeah. because you can't play two stages one turn so true um, he does find the mega right now yeah so there not. it is and we know he has a verse seeker what's his other card and it's it isn't it okay so yeah oh, okay. I imagine like I said he's digging he he's trying to dig right now trying to find a fairy garden to get that free training get the first knockout. But if you're a man, I mean, you really don't care. It's a 90 eggs, you don't care. Like, whatever. I'll just send Baby Volcanion, and that can finally, finally start steam up. And, yeah. And you can put the first pressure on the Gardevoir. So. Yeah, as long as Ahmed doesn't draw terribly off of this end, um, even if the Baby Volcanion gets knocked out, it's like, it's only one prize. Um, the Gardevoir will be susceptible to more damage. But it doesn't look like Ahmed's hand is too good. He well, does find yeah, the yeah, first secret. Okay, wow. And there's a fairy garden, so Quinn's going to take a knockout this turn. Uh, without that last first seeker, Ahmed, I think, would have really struggled right here. <laughs> Unless there's... I don't know. I can't really tell of his hand. Maybe he got a sycamore and I didn't notice, but I don't think it did. So Ahmed's going to promote this Entei. Is he going to be able to knock out this guy? That would be insane. I don't know. I don't... I think so. So he's gonna steam at number one. Yep. Alright. Let's see a max looks here. Which he will whiff. Wow. wow. With so many energy in that deck, it's really surprising to whiff. Uh-huh. Really, really surprising. So let's see, so Mega Gardevoir has 210. If you triple steam up with the full bench, he could take a knockout this turn. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That would be crazy. And it looks like he's gonna go for it. Yeah, I mean, he, if he can pull that, that Skyfold Hoopa play this turn, yeah, he's we know that we know the Hoopa's the deck. We've seen it, and he's going for it. Yeah, he, we're going for it. He is trying to knock out this Mega Gardevoir, and if he does, he takes three energies off the field. And ooh. Ooh, but I do not see a Skyfield. That's the no. only downside right now. Yeah, he, he has. He's wait, hold on. He, he's already steamed up once. once. He's steamed once. He's once. only so, steamed up once. All right, so, so he's gonna steam up again. Yeah. And then he's he going to go for Shaman. Shaman. Yep. yep. And if he finds another energy, he takes, will yeah, takes a knockout. get that knockout. Wow. All right. Let's see. Can a man do it or not? And uh, ooh, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he's not going for it. I don't know. He's deciding. Maybe he knows his resources better than we do. Of course he does. And there's one, two, three energy so far in play. So you would expect him to play 12. And therefore, he still has nine left. So, so he's gonna do that or not? He's still deciding. I think Quinn's ready to put the damage on it, and yeah, it's gonna do 120. Oh boy! Okay. Oh wait, I don't even know how much that is. Uh, yeah, I can't 20, tell. Should 150. be 150. 150. 150. All yeah. right. So yeah, I mean, maybe a man didn't feel like it. Maybe he didn't want to put another shaman down and give him a free target for an Lysander. That yeah. could be a reason as well. But we're gonna see via sticker. For a hex for a maniac. Hex. Oh my that goodness. That means Gardevoir survives this turn. Guaranteed yeah. survives this turn. And Unless I make a find a Max. So do you go for Max right here trying to knock out? I don't know. Or do you not try to oh, no. go for okay, it. Yeah. Yeah. Ahmed was... needs energy into play. I feel yeah. like it was really risky to do what he did the previous turn. I mean, I know it's enticing, 
but I felt like he should have played up or he could have played a bit more conservatively, used the escape rope and simply used power heater for a ton of damage on whatever Quinn promoted yeah. and got an energy into play because you want that those Volcanian EXs powered up, you he would have saved the Entei for a potential KO next turn. Yeah. So I feel like that was a little bit greedy by Ahmed, and then he actually changed his mind because he didn't go for the Shaman play in order to try and dig for that extra energy. Yeah, but we see Ahmed does hit a fire energy, so if you... Do you attach or was that a max looks attachment? I don't remember. Maybe I, it must have been max. I mean, yeah, it must have been attachment. That's the... Uh, yeah. Okay. He attached the energy off his hand, and now he used power healer for 20 damage. Now, I think the difference between this game is right now, Ahmed doesn't have a fighting for real on that Volcanian X. Yeah. So, he could knock it out this turn. Yeah, it definitely makes it a lot easier for Quinn to take a knockout. He only needs six energy instead of eight. Yeah. And two energy is quite a lot when you're only attaching one energy per turn. That's very true. Now, Quinn, is he, he's now three via Seekers, or is it four now? Um, I remember I, he double decked, doubled via Seeker. Yeah. I, I think he's down three via Seekers right now. I think he still has one, yeah. Yeah, so he still has I one. So, so one Hex Maniac is left in deck. Oh, man. But Quinn has to find another uh, Guardian as well. He only has one on the field right now. Yeah. So. But here we see some Elixir's going down. Uh, does he find some more Fader Gs or not? And let's see. And he does hit one. Uh, if Quinn can take a knockout here with the other Mega Card 4, um, maybe Ahmed will struggle to get a KO. Yeah. In the upcoming turn. Um, he will still need the triple, the triple power heater in order to get the KO. But I don't know. Um, it's gonna be. It's it's a scrappy, a scrappy game here. A very yeah. scrappy game. Now, man. Okay, so if Quinn takes a knockout, he goes down to three. If you're med, do you see the Volcanian and for enforce like like double EX knockout, or do you promote the Volcanian, give him the easy knockout, and then make him struggle to knock out the last EX? I don't know. I think you. Oh well. Well, that's oh, <laughs> that mind. answers the question. Yeah, the all right. Lysander. So down to two. All right. Wow. So you can promote the Volcanian with the Flowstone, and let's see what happens. I mean, a med could take a knock on this Guardi. With that volcano with one energy, so let's see what he. Okay, nope, double steam. All right. Double steam up, so that means the active Gardevoir will get knocked out right uh -huh. now. Um, but uh, losing that energy, or losing all those energy on the Volcanian EX is really rough. All right, so Med, I think what he's gonna try to do here is he's gonna pull up, which allows you to get two EXs out of your discard pile, and try to dig for an end. Right. Possibly, yeah. And he's he's getting back that Entei, so he really wants to use that in order to. To so have access to more damage that against very, Quinn. Yeah. So he's got the Skyfall hand. We've seen that. Uh, he's yeah. put down the Entei. Shaman setup. If he can find an end, it'd be up to Quinn. It, Quinn's already used three via Seekers, so. Yeah. It'll be hard to recover off of that end. Down to two cards. Um, a few Sycamore left, I guess. The one versus Seeker. But what can he actually do to Ooh, if he loses the wow, energy right no, now? But no in as of right now that I know of. Now, since so we're sending the Volcanium most likely, take a knockout. But are you concerned? Uh, no, no, he should be okay. I thought he had one prize card left. But we see a fire to charge from the, uh, the Entei. And do you dig for another Shaman here? I think you have to, right? Do it, like, yeah. You have to. Like, you have to try to dig for the Shaman. Yeah. There's but a Hoopa, but wow, no, yeah, there's no, no other shame, shame yeah. So if Quinn has a Mega Guardi and a Life Sander. He or, can KO the Shaman. Yeah, or just, yeah, or just energy for life, the uh, Life Leap, yeah. or uh, the Xerneas, so. Xerneas Break could take a knock on the Shaman this turn. Um, wow, 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 wow. Look at the time. Now, if game two finishes um, in like two or three minutes and it goes to Quinn, I don't think there will be enough time once again for game yeah, three to no complete. Yeah, no way game three uh, yeah, finishes out here. Yeah. So we'll see what Quinn decides to do. Remember, he has played... We don't know how many life centers he plays. We don't. He could play with the one, and he's down three VS Seekers already, which is horrible. Yeah. All right, so we can see Xerneas come up. And what does Quinn have? All right, so he promotes the Xerneas. I see the Verse Seeker in his hand. And he, we, yeah, he has the Verse Seeker. So but no energy. No energy. So if he finds, I don't know. This is really complicated. <laughs> this is really, really complicated. Does he play energy retrieval? 
<laughs> I doubt it. Yeah, but I'm gonna guess no. Yeah, I mean he's down with three, six, seven, eight, like at least eight energies, right? Yeah. Three off the one that's knocked out. Three on the bench. One of the one active. One of the shaman. All right. So see, Guardy, a link coming onto it. And uh, can't Do you quit. Just more away your last verse seeker. Oh man. He oh will. man. All right. Wow. So that's what we're gonna see. Can he find energy? I think he has to find energy here to go down to one. Because then you can knock out the intake to win the game. But he does have an energy, so he will take a knockout this turn. Wait, does he want to? 20, 46, if if Actually, Ahmed responds with a KO on the Mega Guardi with the Entei, um, Quinn will not have enough energy to get a KO on anything. Yeah. So Ahmed really needs to triple steam up. Huh. Let's see. I mean, can, can Quinn even take a knockout this Volcano if he didn't find a Mega Guardi? I don't think so. One, no. two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah, he can't. And he's he's really thinking things through. So um, I don't think he got the the Mega Guardi. I do see a shaman though, so maybe he Wow. Yeah, so we're gonna see a live stream only doing what, one twenty? I think Quinn might have made a mistake right there because he has a shaman in his hand, so he could have played it down before playing the stadium, and he would have had access to a couple more cards. Yeah. But he drew it, he played it really fast, and then he didn't have enough space for the shaman anymore. Now Ahmed does have a fisherman in his hand. He could fisherman do some steam ups. Good. Take a knock out on the active. He doesn't but, have a fisherman. He has an end, a Lysander, and an energy. Oh, I thought I saw a fisherman. Sorry, that's my bad. My bad. <laughs> All right, so see. Wait, is that a fisherman right there? Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I no, confused yeah. the end okay. with a fisherman. Yeah, you're good. You're good. So, uh, I mean, do you go for the ton? Wait, hold on. So let's see. If Gardevoir swings next turn, he's doing 3, 6, 9, 12. That was not going to enter any way. So we can see fisherman. Yeah. He's going to get the energies back and use that power here to take a knockout. Yeah, if you have the the Lysander in your hand, you just you know the Gardevoir is no longer safe, especially with so many energy. Yeah. So a second steam up will bring that damage to 80. So he will still need the third one in order to get the KO. There's the third one, and we see an energy attachment to the Volcano with the Fighting Fury Belt. So. Ahmed does have the Sycamore for next turn to try to find more energy, has the Lysander to potentially get a knockout on the Shaman somehow. And there it is. Alright, so let's move up to Quinn. I mean, does Quinn play a second Lysander? We know all four V8 circuits gone. They're gone. They're gone. You, can, you yeah. can't, yeah, you cannot get out of that. I mean, if, if a man knocks out this Gardevoir, I think that's game. I don't think there's any way Quinn can do anything. Yep. So we're gonna see. This is a very close game. Okay, I think Quint top deck and end here. So, do you think he could get the the, the Mega Guardi off of a two card end? That would be really lucky. Well, I mean, he could still use the second attack of Guardi, take a knock. Oh, is he a shaman? Okay, let's see. No, there's an Ultra Ball. All right, there's so he's got ball. the Ultra Ball. All right, so he can Ultra Ball, uh, take a knockout, go down to two with the end. Ooh, but then if a man. Hits the oh man oh man I don't know suspend so Zarnia's being discarded we we'll see a Mega Guardi coming down oh Ooh, he fails it oh my goodness does that mean there's two Mega Guardivore prized oh man or does he have one in his I mean I don't think he has one in his hand if he had one in his hand he would uh, definitely play it down he might have it I'm not entirely sure yeah wow wow I mean can uh, he's counting how many fire energies on the field. Yeah, I mean, Gardevoir eight. could take a knockout just by itself on the second attack. Lumi's Blade does 100. Yeah. So, that's enough. Um, oh, boy. Oh, man. So, let's see. What is Quinn going to do here? I, oh, man. Just Ultra Ball doesn't grab a Mega Gardevoir. Just tells me. He doesn't have any mega. Oh, he, oh despair oh, ray. Despair ray. So, oh, you're right. He does play despair ray. Look at there. So he's gonna. He does play despair ray. Yeah. And um, he probably runs two of the um, 
brilliant arrow and one despair ray. So the brilliant, the second brilliant arrow is most definitely priced. Yeah. So I mean, it's coming down to this. What does a man get off three cards? There's Ultra Ball and a Fisherman. I mean, via Seeker. Via Seeker, yeah. Which is essentially, essentially a Fisherman. Yeah. yeah. But he need. I don't think he can attach triple steam up knockout. Yeah. Yep. And uh, man, that. that is like very close to the game, right? You gotta think that's almost game. Wow, but he promotes Baby Volcanion. Uh huh. And discards the Lysander. Why? I I don't understand this. He's, huh? Huh? I'm a bit confused here. He could Shaman. Could go for Shaman here. And then... There's not enough energies left in the deck. There's only two, so you can't go for, like, Shaman, try to set up. I think... Yeah, I think you set up... Oh, first of all, I think you set up the Volcanion Floatstone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Because Bay Volcanion cannot get a KO here. Yeah. On the active. He could potentially KO either bench Pokemon with a triple steam up. But... Wow. Yeah, this is. But maybe a man knows that four VS stickers are gone. Yeah. You can't really a Lysander, so maybe I'll set up some more. There's a Lysander, Fire, Sycamore, Fighting Fearbow, and wow, a Fire. He gets the two Fire Energy off of his deck. All right. But, oh. I mean, this still doesn't knock out the spare. No, but he can Lysander KO the Gardevoir with a. Oh, no, never mind. Because he attached the Fighting Fear Belt. I am really confused. All right, but oh, okay. I think I think he like realized like, hey, I yeah, maybe he wanted more fires. Oh, maybe he didn't have fires in discard pile, so that's oh, why he had to promote it true, to retreat true. it. That's yeah. what he was doing. Yeah. We're just we're just silly. Mm -hmm. That is and true. And there we see a man taking the go. game. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Quinn realized he does not have any more resources left, and a man will advance to top eight with Volcanion. All right, and there's time right there. Time. Well, no, that's that's the other time. Our yes, time. Yeah, that's true. But, but yeah, wow, guys, yeah, you're you're right. Um, Ahmed needed those energy into discard pile, and that's why he did that. Yeah. Very good. So, yeah. By, very good play by Ahmed. Yeah. I mean, we didn't see his discard pile, so we didn't yeah. know we were in there. Uh, <laughs> but guys, next up is me top eight, and uh, it might be Pablo by himself. I'm just gonna head out. I did have a friend in top 32, and unfortunately. Uh, he did not make top eight, so Josh will abandon me for the next rounds. But I hope you guys will, yeah, will stay around. Yeah, Thank guys. you guys, and we'll be right back. Yep.